This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Alright, Monica. Hi, Artie! Hey, girl! Wow, your style's gotten so refined, Artie. Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Well... I guess so. Yeah, I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. I think I've heard her say more words these past couple days than she's talked in the whole year. I'm not sure how you did it, but that's pretty impressive. It's called having an X or having two Y. Yeah, it's called having a Y chromosome. <laughs> Sorry, got the chromosomes mixed up. Well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. Hmm, you're certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. Uh, that's... Ha ha ha! It's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the club room every day. Reading that edgy novel with her. Well, I just... I feel bad that she has a hard time socializing. It makes me want to make sure that she doesn't spend all her time alone. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know. All right, all right. I get you. Just be careful, all right? I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up. So if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could be really hard for her. Her books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bandage. You say that like I'm going to hurt her. Sorry, I really didn't mean it like that. I mean, I'm the one who's going to hurt her, what? If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. Anyway, foreshadowing. Okay, Sayori. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. I wanted more words that I like. <laughs> well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. I wrote it for Natsuki. Wow, you did a really bad job. <laughs> eh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. <laughs> really? Didn't you time travel just to make sure she was the only one who jumped? Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good! That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Artie. Sayori. Is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. Hehehe. <laughs> all right. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a bit early today. Sayori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Hey, Natsuki. Yeah, no thanks. You didn't even next! Okay, you free. We can skip, skip, skip. And guys, we can finally help Yuri out in the weekend. Alright, I'm gonna help Yuri. Well, I'll probably be the most useful helping out Yuri. M me? Why, why act so surprised, Yuri? It's not like I've literally taken every opportunity to suck up to you this entire playthrough. Are you serious? Why would you... Natsuki, you refuse to even read my poem today. Do you really think I would go pick you? Like, come on, use your head. Natsuki, I can already tell you're about to say something mean. N no! I was just saying... Ugh! So you'll be helping Yuri then, Artie? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's good, great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah! I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki's feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yep, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Artie? Me? Well, I guess you could say I'm interested to see in how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki... WHAT?! WHY IS EVERYONE YELLING AT ME?! 
I didn't even do anything. Natsuki, you're the one who's yelling, but that's just the voice I'm doing. No, that's not what I meant at all. Uh... Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. Uh, I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Artie picked me. Really, Yuri? You can't think of even one reason why Artie might have picked you. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. I mean, other than Hostess cupcakes, of course. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. Yep, that's definitely the face of being taken aback right there. When she already <laughs> when she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No. I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Uh, I believe you. Okay, I believe you. Yeah! I hope to see everyone doing their best. But with that... There's nothing more for today, so I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat be between each other. Uh, um... Eh? I turn around. Sorry, I realized I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right! Don't worry, here's my Twitch channel. <laughs> I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think... That would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Artie, this is... Eight, you wrote down 8675309. Yep, that's my number! <laughs> okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Huh? My house? Is that a problem? I wanted to meet y your family and, and your hot older sister. I mean, what? <sighs> no, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Ah, oh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, the artist didn't want to draw extra assets for this game, so I think I would prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just make sure that my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Artie. I think that we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait! You don't actually think that, do you? I... don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. Uh, you're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. B but... Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Uh-huh. I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door, and Yuri follows. I gotta say, MC is way nicer in Yuri's route than in, like, either of the other routes. <sighs> like, compare compare MC in this route to MC in the Sayori route. Like, he's kind of a prick in Sayori's route. He's very kind in this one, at least to Yuri. I can't believe this! Yuri's gonna be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots for the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? <laughs> or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off it. I seriously can't wait! It's gonna be great, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great! Alright, I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. 
Yuri's clearly an introvert, and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've even been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But, putting Yuri aside... I haven't heard a thing from Sayori. Alright, now we get the really sad scene. Alright, sorry Sayori, but we got a house to decorate. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Uh, oh yes, it's Yuri in the turtleneck sweater. Here we go! Thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Uh, were you waiting a long time? I've been waiting five hours. No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Oh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that, for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy? Yes, I went to Joanne's and I bought all the stuff. Pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I expected you to live in a pigsty. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate for you to do that. Oh, no. It would be... I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Also, new room we haven't seen before. Also, how the heck is that... How the heck is that, like... <laughs> What's the word? What is the word I'm thinking of? Hainer. How is that clothes Hainer just levitating? That don't make any sense. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Uh, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there! I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a, de a desk drawer of mine. I, that has your Christmas present in it. You can't look. Uh, ah, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. He doesn't want her to know that that's where he has every single edition of every Donald Duck comic. It's a bit of a guilty pleasure of his. I feel you, man. Donald Duck comic books are pretty great. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Ah, um, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know... Mood, lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned it on taking it that far. Of course. I want to take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for... cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. Excuse me. Sorry, I just had the bean burrito for lunch, so, uh, don't mind me, Yuri. <laughs> it's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense? Yeah, like camping. I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? It's what I like about you! <laughs> that makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for re relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh, yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happened to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be pretty neat. Uh, what's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. No, Yuri, I don't want to hear about your essential oils and how it cured your cancer. <laughs> Dog on it. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Um, I know that there was one Phineas and Ferb song that had that word in it, and that's it. Not familiar at all. Oh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you use, you can change the mood of the air itself. Y yeah, I don't think that's true. <laughs> you can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive em energy, romance, reflection... Horoscopes. I mean, what? It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. 
In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor uh, begins to spout through a small hole on top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? Oh, I put in the, the I put in this oil. It's called Essence of Fast Food. It smells like Arby's. It's the best. <laughs> this is a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I remember smelling jasmine bath bombs. Wasn't very pleasant. Very overpowering. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. This sounds like some witchcraft J mumbo jumbo juju right here. Don't know how to feel about this. You feel warmer and your heart pounds it more heavily. Don't you think that'll be perfect for sharing our poems? I guess. It does sound suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion of anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. Well, what are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? I, I wanted to, but I instead decided to buy Crayola crayons. Same thing, right? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We need about a hundred of them. Couldn't I have just bought regular old paper then? I guess. Do you have any idea how expensive the origami paper was? Oh, yeah? Uh, what will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then, we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Okay, remember how I said that this is going to be a short stream? It's not. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you were so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you'd put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Artie. You can write any characters you want. Cool, I'm gonna write butt on this one. <laughs> what? I'll help you finish once I I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Oh, alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Ah! Uh, I, I thought I screened for weapons coming in here. The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, uh, well, embarrassed Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. I mean, I you almost saw my lifetime supply of Donald Duck comics, so, like, come on. <laughs> Teach their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Well, it, it depends on what it is. All right. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Ooh, what am I saying? Well, knives are pretty cool, but you know what's even cooler? Guns. Let me take you to my gun locker. <laughs> Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's... Well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool-looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I stab her in the chest. What? I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? I want one. Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Well... Dude, you're just asking for it. Artie! Why did you do that? You're a doofus! I didn't expect it to be that sharp! I barely touched it at all! It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. I'm not gonna ask how you know that, but I know that how. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a, wound a closer look. Uh, she stares at it and nos noticeably fidgets. Uh, if you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah! Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. Yeah, that's a little bit weird. 
admittedly. I mean, I get it. You can stop the bleeding that way. It's still very bizarre, though. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. That's also weird. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Uh, oh, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, sure, it was a little weird, and it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Ugh. She doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I'd do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. Artie! Did, did you really just do that? Mmm, jeez, it's... N now we're even! A little weird! Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. Probably because you did! <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Artie. Yuri giggles shyly. Huh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah, uh, I don't think I need one, actually. I don't think I own bandages. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective abilities, or activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected, and it will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great! Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Uh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the ne next task? Yeah, let's do it! What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Oh, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put in each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. Taking Yuri's advice, I decide to use the small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-sized glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back to my room. Yuri? Yes! I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Ah, uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner, starting with the colors for a sunrise, then daytime, then sunset and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. <laughs> hang in there with the cat. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat! Uh, what are you going to write? Well... It'll be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like art class projects that we had back then. It's relaxing. Uh, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way, too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like it when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can't understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Kah! 
S sorry Yuri reels back and I quickly, li quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, your face! There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get you a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, and then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room, and I kneel back in front of her. Oh, fancy, fancy sh CG. Here. I pat Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Ah, Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. I'm sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Oh. I keep my hand against, still against Yuri's cheeks. Or er, cheeks? Neck. <laughs> she looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Uh oh, she's reading me like a book. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again. But her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore it at the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. Then that should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think that came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Oh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here and then have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew! <laughs> you could you say that like it's gl you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about the time. I need to start making dinner soon. Oh. So you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we would have some extra time after finishing the work. Well... Yuri thinks to herself. I, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait too much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping that there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So... I shouldn't be disappointed, or anything. Gathering all her fins, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I was glad I was able to help. Uh, just let me know if there's anything else you want me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then... Yuri fidgets. I guess... I'll see you tomorrow. Wait! I say that kind of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over, or we can go out somewhere. Oh, I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Artie. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to as your Yuri suddenly pulls back. S Sayori! Ah! Uh, uh, hi, Artie. Sayori, uh... Just now, we weren't, uh... <laughs> it's okay, Artie. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, um... Well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, really? That's too bad. 
I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course! Sayori beams. Y yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Haha, <laughs> well... Oh yeah, this is all going to be the same. Alright, well... At this point, we are now done with Yuri's route, so now... We gonna go back and do the Natsuki route.